Hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, today I'm going to go over how to set up and how data link works. It seems like a lot of people are still very confused about this. And so I want to clear everything up by giving you guys the ultimate data link guide for Ever Crisis. So what is data link? Let's just start off with the basics, right? Data link is a way for you to save your data directly through the Square Enix servers. When you play this game, the data is not saved on your device. The data is actually saved to the server. Essentially, the way this works is there is a piece of code or there is a pass key, if you will, that is on your device uh, when you when you were playing it that sends the data back and forth to the server and the server says, hey, you have this key, here's your information, right? So it's just like, it's like a key to a safe. Your data is in this safe, you only have access to that one safe, and so you're only able to get information from that account that's in that safe, right? So, what you wanna do in order to get the key and save the key, right? To not just have, not just say, hey, I have the code, and, and but this way you can have the code across any platform right this way the code's not locked to just one person essentially you can kind of share it around if you will which technically you could if you wanted to right so first things first we're going to start it off by going to the data link and, and how to set this up what you do is is uh, as people call them the hamburgers right and i'd recommend you do this as soon as you first start playing this game and it doesn't matter what device this all runs the same way you can do this on steam mobile ipod ipad whatever ipod <laughs> any device right android anything you have you can do it it's the same exact way so you're going to come up here you're going to hit the hamburgers right over the, the menu and you're going to go to where it says link data right so you're going to click that and it's going to pop up this screen now this is steam but what you're going to do is when you come in here it's going to say something like square enix members and you can click that it's a little square box or it's going to have you try to log in just outright okay so i'll show you that here because i can i can kind of start this all from fresh for you guys from scratch so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to go to the title screen this way i can show you exactly how it works i'm not going to do it because that would be a terrible idea on my part um i guess not really because my again it, it doesn't matter because my data is saved it doesn't matter how i link the data it's not going to change Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a brand new account essentially, right? So my account's already saved. I've already linked this game, the information you just saw on that screen, that is already linked to an account, right? So I already have that in a system. I can obtain that passcode for any device to get it open to that data safe, if you will, uh, as long as I get the login credentials. As long as the login credentials, I go, hey, here's my information. The server goes, yeah, that information's correct. Here's your key. And then the key stays with that device until I do this right here. If I do reset game data. This does not completely delete everything, right? All this does is it resets the game data. Basically, it removes the key and base just some personal, uh, personal like um, settings, like like your your uh, resolution and things like that, which you'll see up here in a minute. It's gonna pop me to full screen, so the screen will get big real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. If you notice here, it says if you wish to be able to recover your data later, be sure to data link before reset. So as long as you have done data link, you can do this as many times as you want, right? And I've already done that, and it's gonna ask you again. Game data cannot be recovered unless your account is linked. Again, I, my account is linked. I can go ahead and delete. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the game data. Like I said, it's going to get giant here for a second. So it's going to take me back to the title screen. It's just going to refresh. That's why it's huge now. I need to get it back down to where it was. So I'm going to go back into the menu. Right, This is just for settings. You don't have to actually do this. We're just going to set things back to how they were. Window mode. And then let me... There it is. Alright, perfect. So now we're back into this. So... From here, if, if you're a brand new player, this is essentially what's going to happen. You're going to click on start. It's going to start the whole game, ask if you for a name, <clears throat> ask you if you want to do the tutorial, all that kind of stuff like that, and it'll start a brand new game. If you personally want, you can then keep playing a new game. If you want to, say, make a second account, I have a second account. This is actually the one we were just looking at was. Um, you can play... Two accounts on the same device or you can split in between devices and always just reset reload that account i'll show you how to do that in a minute though so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna load up here so yes i confirm i agree to terms of service this would be only if you, this is this stuff's only gonna pop up if you're starting a new game right 
Skip tutorial? Yes, I have no interest in tutorial. And let's just do a uh, rocker. doesn't matter. So we're going to do that. And then there would be another question if you're on mobile, right? So now it's a new game. It's going to say, hey, look at all this stuff. Attempt, blah, blah, blah. It wants me to do all these things, right? It wants me to do a draw. Let's just, let's, just, let's just get it over with. I don't think you can get a five star from this. Wow, that's a lot of purples. Holy buckets. I don't think you can get a five star from this. I never have, even in all the rerolls I've done. I could be wrong, but that seems kind of crazy. I've done like five or six rerolls. I, I realistic it's not that many, but that uh, it, it didn't do that for me. So now we're at the main menu. It's going to have me keep doing these things. You're going to have to go through this. And I'll show you the link data and how that, how that works here. So let me just get through all this. Right. Okay. I've done this a thousand times. Okay, here's our, all our login. It's going to give us a lot of pop-ups here real quick. It's just part of what happens when you're a new player. Yep, new draw available. I got it. New draw available. I got it. A lot battle added. I got it. Okay. Are we done? Still not done. <laughs> okay, now we're done. Okay, so now if I want to link data, I'm going to go back up here to the top right corner, right up here at the very top. We're going to hit that. And we're going to go down to settings right here, right? Settings. Oh, I'm sorry. Not settings. I'm, I'm a dum-dum. Uh, where is it? Link data. So we're going to hit link data. And then here we go again. So now it's going to say, you know, uh, terms and conditions, blah, 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 blah. Uh, if you want to read all that. So accept terms and conditions, register to Square Enix members. And it's going to pop up here. So this is what your screen is going to look like. If you are on Steam version, there is a separate version on how to properly link data and everything using the Steam version. So you can completely skip that. Um, now, if you are trying to use a Gmail account, it doesn't, you can't do that through Steam. So do it through every other means. Do it through Steam, create a Square Enix account, whatever that be, whatever that means. When you're all said and done, it'll say, hey, your account is officially linked and you're good to go. So now the question is, well, what if I've already had an account and I'm on a new device or I want to use that account on another device or this or that, right? It doesn't matter if you set up the data link through Steam, Android, iPhone, iPad, it doesn't matter, and even an emulator, right? It doesn't matter. So it's going to be the same across the board. It makes no difference, right? So once you set this up, as long as you go and link the data on a new account, then you're all set and done, right? Or on that, on that account, I'm sorry, on that account that you've already set up and saved. So we're going to exit out of this. We're going to go back to the title screen now because now, now there is a, <clears throat> this, this Steam version has a new passcode, if you will, that only applies now to a new safe box that, that this is, this is what the safe box contains. It's a brand new account. That's it. If I don't link this and say somehow this game gets uninstalled, I will lose the, that code, that code goes away. But as long as I keep it, realistically, that code will stay. But if you have a device or something that, that breaks down or anything like that, computer, you'll lose that data. So this is why data linking ASAP is super important. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go back to the title screen here. So again, we're gonna go title screen down here at the bottom and we're gonna reset the data one more time. <laughs> so we're gonna do that again. And while this is loading, I need to actually pull up my passwords because uh, I don't have it totally uh, set up here. Let's see here. Because I got to make sure I, I know what the password is. All right. I think it's this one. I have a lot of... Oh, no. There, it's this, there we go. It's this one. Okay. So I'm going to come in here. We're going to go back and reset the game data. Now, now the game that's here is 100% going to be lost. It will never have access again to that to that safe box to that data that we just had the polls that we had that's gone it is officially gone there is no way to recover it uh, outside of just somehow contacting square enix if you have paid bought something in the game it does make it a lot easier if you knew your player id it makes it a lot easier but most people don't have that information right so let's go ahead and fix this here let's go back into windowed mode and then also change the resolution that way i can see things all right so this is a brand new account if I hit start, I'm going to make a new, it's going to make a new account again, right? So what I want to do is I need to bring up another account here. I want, I want to link the data, right? So the account that you guys saw when I first started the video, we're going to get it back on here. And so we're going to hit link data, right? It's going to pull up this information. There's that black box I was telling you about. So we're going to hit square Enix members. And then from here, you're going to either, you if you want to do Google, you can't, it won't work. So if you're trying to do Gmail, unfortunately, that only works on either iPod, iPad, 
or, or Android devices. It won't work through Steam. I have another video about that. If you're trying to, if you've already played the game on an Android device and you're trying to set up on Steam, go check that video out. That is already there. But if you're doing it through any of these other means, Twitter or X, whatever, uh, Facebook, uh, I'm guessing that's some kind of Apple thing. Um, in the Apple Store, maybe. And then also Steam. You have all those options. You also have your FF11 or 14 account. Or you can just make a new account. Or if you don't have one, through Square Enix, right? The same options. So these are all the different options. You'll have to find out the way you set it up originally if it's on another device. So we're going to go ahead and type in the information here. I'm going to block this out so you guys just can't see this because it is personal information. I don't want you guys, uh, I don't want you guys stealing my identity. Trust me, you don't want to beat me. My life, my life's not that great. So we're going to do that. I clicked login just now. Okay. So I'm going to hit Ever Crisis Capture. And it's probably tough to see. Um, uh, yeah, it's probably tough to see here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead. And, I'm going to actually see if I can make it better for you guys. I'm going to cancel that. Let me see if I can make this a little bigger for you. Data link has failed. Yeah, I see that. Right, give me a moment here. I'm changing, the, I'm changing the window size. This way it's a little easier for you guys to see it maybe. Should, it should blow it up some. Here we go. So this way, this way you guys can hopefully see it a little better. It's just harder for me to see it, but that's okay. We're going to do that. We're going to do a link data here again. Uh, what? I think my game froze. It did. Actually, my Steam entirely froze. <laughs> that's a new one. Yeah. Steam completely crashed. And so did Ever Crisis. There we go. Oh, some kind of Steam... Oh, something happened. I don't know. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. Some, Steam failed. So if you don't have Steam Overlay on, by the way, as well, if you're trying to do this with Steam, it won't work. Right? So let's try this again. There we go. Okay, it crashed for some reason. Okay, this is probably a little easier for you guys to see. So here's the Square Enix members thing that I was talking about. Um, if I can go bigger for you guys. Can I zoom in? Nope, don't have a way to zoom. Okay. So you'll click this. Takes you to this thing just like the previous one. All right, so I'm gonna log. I'm gonna put my login credentials here, so you guys can't see this information. Uh, let's just do it one more time. There's my password. There's my email. All right, yeah, it's a little easier to see. Okay, so here it'll say virtual currency balance. So this you'll be able to see. Hey, yeah, this matches what I previously had. So I have zero paid crystals, which is purchased virtual currency. And then I have the free virtual currency, right? You can see that it says 41,890. Proceed with transfer. So we're going to go ahead and do this. So proceed with transfer. Data, save data has been transferred successfully. You may now return to the game. So I'm going to click X. The only thing that will change when you do reset game data is going to be the settings. So like you guys saw, it went back to full screen. All that kind of jazz. A little annoying. Not a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and load the game back up. And watch, we're going to be back. Oh, yeah. See, it's asking me all this stuff again. It's going to ask these questions just like it does every time. This is just par, par for the course. It'll do more, I believe, if you're on mobile than if on the Steam version. So, And then it's going to... It will do this. Some of these pop-ups will, will re-pop back up. That one specifically always does it. I don't know why. And then, bam, here we go. We're back to it. I have same player level, same everything. So I basically just reset the game data. I got my data link. I put my data link back on, and everything is good. So to show you guys here another thing, uh, my two different accounts running at the same exact time, right? So I have my main account, which is actually here, the little small one. So this is my main account here, and this one here on the big, the big video, the big screen, that is my secondary free-to-play account I made about a week ago as of this video. So, um, I have, I have transferred my, my, my save data originally because I had my main account on the Steam version. I now put it onto a secondary device that you guys can see here and I can transfer them all back and forth as much as I want. My phone, right? So I have my phone right here. My phone is the same exact deal, right? I can transfer if I'm not home, say, Hey, I want to play Ever Crisis. I can law, I can go into my phone. If I go, Hey, I did everything on this account. I want to go to the other account. It is a little annoying, but this is how it just has to be done. You do the reset data you uh, you from the main screen, um, and then you, you do the login for the data link. It pulls the data, and bam, now I'm on the other account. So I was doing that just last the over the weekend at the waifu's house because I was playing between both accounts while I was there. 
So that's pretty much how data link works. Um, it's, it is a little annoying and complicated. I get it, but hopefully this clears things up for you guys. So just quick recap, right? When you first start the game, hamburgers in the top right corner, right? Go to data link, set up the data link with whatever, whatever account you want to use. So even here, it says you, if you wish to back up your save data with a different account, please follow the link below. So you can even do this. I can go change account. Did it lock up again on me? No. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I thought it locked up again. Yeah, so then I can link it up with a different account. So if I want to put two accounts, if I want to put this save game on two different accounts, sure, whatever, right? I can change it. So you have that option. And then once link data is done, you're set. If you need to get the game onto another device, you have to do everything from the title screen in the same exact fashion as creating it. The only difference is if you're doing everything through Google uh, and Gmail specifically with the Steam version, only the Steam version does this matter, things have to, you have to do it a little bit differently. You have to link that Square Enix account up with that Gmail account or that Steam account, whatever it may be. And again, I have another video you can check out that, that details all that. So hopefully this clears things up for everybody. Um, and especially for all the newer players who seem to be struggling with this. Like I'm still seeing con comments and questions every day. How do I do this? How do I do this? I'm getting people asking me. So I hope, well, hopefully this clears it up. Uh, and uh, that should be it. So keep rocking. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe. You can catch me live every single day on Twitch and YouTube. So be sure to check the links down below in the description for my channels. And I will see you guys on the next video.